Hi and very welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen and I talk about books and book related stuff. Today is the 29th of November. It's a Sunday and it marks the beginning of the Queer Lit Readathon. I thought I would start the readathon by actually reading in this ebook final draft by Riley Redgate. Uh, I am very curious about this book, so that's why I would like to start with that book. I don't really know a whole lot about it, to be honest, but I am curious and intrigued, and I hope to see a good pan rep in that book. A bit late and I am going to bed. I have managed to read I think about a third of final draft and I will read a little bit in bed before I go to sleep and I am planning on reading in Let's Talk About Love because I need to finish this. So that is what I am going to do and then it's sleep time and tomorrow is work and it is Monday, so I work late, and I will read a little bit before work, I guess, and on my commute as well. That's at least the plan. So that's the second day of the readathon almost over. I have managed to get a little bit further in Let's Talk About Love, but I have actually mostly been reading in Final Draft, especially uh, on my commute. I know that it may, might have seemed like I mostly read Let's Talk About Love, but that was mostly on my way to work. Uh, back home I read Final Draft and I've done some reading tonight as well and I think I'll do a little bit more reading before I go to sleep. So new day tomorrow and uh, no commute because I will be working from home so that's something I'll do for the rest of the week. I only go into the library on Mondays. That's it for today and I will Get around here tomorrow.
finished final draft today and I actually quite enjoyed it and I was delighted to see that there's a pan main character and the pan rep is not horrible and it's actually proper because she actually say at some point that she identify as pan but it's not like a big thing. But there is romance in it. She has some romantic interests. I'm not going to go into it because it kind of spoils and I don't want to spoil the book but I really enjoyed it and I also managed to read a little bit in um, Let's Talk About Love. Not a whole lot but I am planning on reading a little bit more in bed before I go to sleep. Uh, I also read some stuff for work. I read uh, 10 Blind Dates it's called and I'm not going to go into that now because it was uh, not LGBTQ plus related at all. I'm going to read a little and then I really need to go to bed. Right, so I am going to start a new read now. It's uh, The Witch of the Winter Woods. And I am reading it as an ebook, so looking forward to reading that. Absolutely, I uh, don't know a whole lot about it, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so I finished The Witch of the Winter Woods. I don't know what I think of it. It wasn't as good as I hoped it to be. It's supposed to be like a ghost story, but it wasn't very scary. I think if it had been like a longer story, it would have been a lot better. But it was okay, I guess. So now I am going to continue doing some reading and I think I'll read a little bit of the check place that I've, I'm currently reading. Can you believe it? And it's not just Thursday, but it's Thursday night and I'm off to bed. So today I've done some errands in the city center. I also got some footage that, there that I wanted. Uh, one of them is for the vlogmas. There's some other footage that I might use for the vlogmas or I might use it later because I haven't decided yet. What to do with it or I know what to do with it but I haven't decided when when I want to do what I'm planning on doing with it. I have not done that much reading and I have been focusing on Check Please which is a graphic novel and it's really cute and I'm really enjoying it and I'm going to read a little bit more before I go to sleep and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night. Today I managed to finish up with work a little bit earlier so I am going to use my extra time to do a little bit of reading and then I will have to make dinner but first I will read.
believe it's Saturday already and last day of the readathon. I haven't read anything so far yet, today, but I am planning to do some reading after I have had dinner. I've done other stuff today, so I haven't really gotten around to do any reading, but food, then books. midnight and I managed to finish this let's talk about love finally however I did not manage to finish it before midnight so a little bit overdue there but hey that's another round of the queer lit readathon done and I didn't get through my mount to be read Though I didn't really expect to because it was, as I said in my TBR uh, video, uh, it was very ambitious and quite kind of over ambitious. But I'm quite pleased uh, knowing that I didn't really read anything in November. I managed to finish one book. I'm quite pleased. I managed to finish uh, one book for The Winter Wipes and I also put it up for the nun coming out and I think that's actually true in a way. And for this book it ticks off, because I read quite a bit of it during the readathon, it ticks off um, host recommendation, that's one, and ace character, ace man main character, that's another one, and it ticks off black, was it black author or black main character? I don't remember at the moment, but it's both, so it's okay. Uh, it takes off uh, not like yourself, uh, I am not ace, I'm not black, um, I'm not American, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, it's something I read in this, uh, which was I when I read it during the summer, is that she talks about working in the library as boring, and I'm going, hey, uh, that's not true. I work in a library. I'm a librarian in a public library, and I love it, and I think it's an amazing job. So I strongly disagree with the, the, <laughs> that it's supposed to be boring. It's not boring at all. Uh, not seeing myself and I read final draft which ticked off uh, the see myself because it's a main character who's pan like myself and I did read graphic novel I didn't get to read it as much as I wanted but that's the way it is the check please graphic novel which is very cute and I hope to finish that in a couple of days hopefully fingers crossed though I'm not sure. We'll see. 
it really pushed me to read and I'm not sure if I would have managed to read as much if it wasn't for the readathon because November was such a horrible reading month for me. I think um, I think this readathon is good for me also because of um, it kind of pushes me to read more queer books. That is, I wouldn't say out of, of my comfort zone because it's not, but I really like reading things I might not have picked up otherwise and even though kind of the, both this and the check please are books that I have started previously uh, goodness knows how long it would have taken me to read this book if it wasn't for the fact that this readathon actually pushed me to read it so that's a good thing yeah readathon over for now and we are coming up to Christmas shortly I have loads of time of work, um, I am using up my holiday days because I was thinking about transferring them until next year but it's too much hassle and it's kind of complicated and stuff. So this year I've been using my holiday days when I haven't really felt like I needed to use them but that's the way it is. Um, in Norway we do have a set amount of holiday time and you are more or less required to take it out um, you can apply and as long as it's not too many days uh, you probably will get to transfer them to next year but there is a limitation to how many days you can transfer yes that's it for now and I will see you in my next video bye for now